Photoshop has a great new way of selecting areas of an image based on focus or depth of field. As we can see in this image, the cactus is in focus, but the background is not. Now, we could try other methods. So, for example, I could select Quick Select, but you'll notice that when I drag the Quick Select cursor around underneath the cactus, it actually selects too much, and it ends up selecting the entire document because there aren't very many tonal or color values between the green and the blue. So instead, this image would be perfect for using the Select menu and then Focus Area. Photoshop will automatically analyze the image based on what it thinks is in focus and what's out of focus, and then return that to me as a mask. Now, we can change the parameters manually here in order to control what we tell Photoshop is in focus or not in focus, but the best results I find are with the Auto button turned on. Then, if I want to refine it, I can either use the Add To or Subtract From brush. Then, just clicking in any of the areas that I want to remove, and then Photoshop will go ahead and remove those areas. So here, I'm just clicking in any of the blue areas that I still see, and Photoshop returns a very good mask. I can also hold down the Option key to toggle back and forth between the brushes if I want to include an area that shouldn't have been removed. Now, depending on what kind of selection you're after, you can either get a binary, a very hard edge selection, if you turn off the Soft Edge option, or we can enable that. In fact, if you want to refine your selection further, you can always choose Refine Edge and use any of the tools in that feature. But for now, let's click OK. You can see the selection that Photoshop returns, and then we could go ahead and make whatever kind of enhancements we wanted. For example, I might add a Hue Saturation Adjustment layer, and maybe change the hue, or maybe desaturate. Although you'll notice that it's actually desaturating the cactus, so on my Properties panel, I'll click on the Mask icon, and then choose to invert the mask so that the background's desaturated while the cactus stays saturated. So there you have it, an easy way to select isolated portions of your image for further editing in Photoshop CC.